Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're going to have a look at how you can become a pro in all things modifiers, including how to copy modifiers to multiple objects, control the modifiers of multiple objects simultaneously, and some other tricks along the way just to make things easier. So this was the comment that inspired this video, and it relates to creating something like a wall. So we're going to do that. If you don't have a wall, go to Edit and Preferences. Make sure you've got your Extra Objects Mesh enabled, and then you can press Shift and A, Mesh, and then go to Extras, and you can use something like Wall Factory to create a wall of different blocks. Now, just to make this simpler, I'm actually going to get rid of the opening in it, just to make this easier to see for now. But we've got a lot of different blocks here. And what we're going to want to do is change these blocks. For example, we might want to make them more rounded and potentially add some damage to them. Now, what I'm gonna do is Shift and D and then make a copy of this because we're gonna look at a couple of these in different ways and the way we can go about this. So the first reason that we're probably gonna to want to do this is with certain add-ons, for example, we've got one click damage, we might want to add some damage to this. But if we keep this together as one object and click make damage, it applies the damage as if it is one object. So we can see everything going across the different blocks. And don't get me wrong, I think this looks really good. If this was a wall that had been impacted by something, we could have something that looked like this, but let's undo that. Instead, what we're more likely to want to do is have all of these, let's P, and then separate them by loose parts, so we've got lots of individual blocks. And what that's gonna allow me to do, if I click make damage, is do some more realistic damage on a block by block basis using one click damage. If you haven't seen one click damage before, there's a video that's linked in the description so you can have a look at that. But at this point, we've now got lots and lots of individual blocks, which is gonna make adding modifiers let's say annoying. So the first option with this is, if you're gonna add modifiers, try to add them once you've got an object that's got all of the parts together. So for example, if we go to our modifier panel here and add our modifier, I'm gonna add a subdivision surface to everything, which is gonna turn everything very, very small. Let's up the levels a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is add in some bevels around each of the boxes or each of the blocks in this wall to control this rounding. So let's add a modifier. We're gonna add in a bevel. We want to have two segments. We need that to be above the subdivision surface modifier. And then we've got that looking pretty good. And we can change the amount on these. So that's pretty nice. Just to make this a little bit better, what I'm gonna do is change the profile to one. So there we go, and now we can change this. And you'll notice that we can do this for all of these objects together. So that's pretty handy. But what if we've already split this up and we now want to add this modifier to all of these different objects? Because let's be honest, doing that is gonna take forever. So for this, we're gonna to go to Edit, Preferences, and come to our add-ons again, and we want to type in Copy, and we want to enable this Copy Attributes menu. So this is free and part of Blender. If you haven't got this and you're in Blender 4.2, you'll need to get extensions to get that. But the Copy Attributes menu is gonna allow us to copy modifiers really quickly and easily. So what we can do here is, let's say, select this object, and we're gonna remember it's this one just for now, and we're gonna add those modifiers in. So we'll add in our bevel modifier. Let's just see what we're doing here so you can get an idea of what we did. We're gonna put our profile to one, change our segments to two, and if we just turn on our wireframe here, you can see what we've done. This is gonna control our subdivision surface. Let's just turn that off, I don't really like it. Then we're gonna add in our subdivision surface. So, you'll notice for this that I've been using this add modifier panel, which brings back the old modifier. That's free, again, I'll put a link in the description. If you don't have that, then you've got this menu. I don't really like this. So that's another tip, get this add old modifier menu. It just makes things easier to see, or at least I prefer it. Then we can change our bevel to change our size and our amount for this object. But importantly, we want to copy this to everything else. So. Let's see how we do this. So with that copy attributes menu add-on enabled, what we need to do is select all of our objects and then importantly, make sure the object with the modifiers we want is selected last. So you can see that that's the active object. I've got that set up so that it's blue and all of the other selected objects are outlined green to try and make this nice and clear. Then we just press Control and C and then we can just click copy modifiers and all the modifiers that were on that last selected block will go onto all of the other blocks. Great. So this solves the problem of having to have everything joined together. And what that means is that if I come into this block and then change something, so I could go to here, I could then select all of these, shift select that one, control and C, and then copy modifiers. And everything will copy across to the other ones with that new amount. 
but that's quite an annoying way of doing things, having to select it every single time and then change it and then go to the copy modifiers. It'd be great if there's a more efficient way of doing this. And there is. So let's come to this one first of all, and I'm just gonna go into vertex A and then P and separate by loose parts. So now everything again is also separated. So we've got two different walls that are made out of separated blocks. And we'll cover the two ways that we can easily change lots and lots of modifiers all in one go. So the first is this, and this has a positive that it can work on any block. So for example, it doesn't matter which one is the active object here. Let's say it's this one. If I want to change something in my modifier, then we can do this over here and we can change it just for that one. I'm just gonna undo that. But if we want to change it for all of them, if we have everything selected that we want to change and one that's active, if you just hold down Alt as you start changing it, it will change the modifier for every single block or everything that's selected that's got the same modifier. So I'm just holding down Alt while I'm clicking and dragging. The other thing that's really good about this is I can just hold down Alt and click, let's say type in 0.3, and it will also do it for every single one of the blocks. So Alt is a massive time-saving feature. It will also do this for other things as well. Pretty much if there's anything that you want to do, and you want to do it to all of your blocks, if it's part of a menu, if you hold down Alt, so for example, if I went to item and I wanted to scale it on, I don't know, the Z, if you hold down Alt and then click and then type in two, everything will scale by two. So you can do this for a lot of things, not just the modifiers, and I find that really useful. The other thing that I'll mention, this is the only one that's part of a paid for add-on, but I really do like this, is that if you want something a bit clearer and bigger than this small panel over here, if you press Control and tilde, if you have hard ops, you can come down to a modifier menu and it gives you a much bigger version of all of your modifiers, which I think is really, really nice to see. The only thing I don't like about this is that the old modifier panel doesn't transfer over to this. So you have to deal with this new version, which I don't like as much. But I think this is really nice to be able to use. So that is just with the object selected, Control and tilde. And then once again, if you press Alt as you click anything, you will do it for all of the different blocks. So this works in exactly the same way. So that's really nice as it's versatile and works off any of the blocks that are sharing the modifier. Now the second option isn't quite as versatile, but it saves time in other ways. And that is that it's quite annoying to have to select all of the blocks before you're going in and changing the modifiers. Especially if, well, let's say there were other objects and you accidentally select all of them, it could be really annoying. So what we're gonna do instead is set up a controlling block. I'm gonna use this one in the top left-hand corner, and this block is then gonna control the modifiers in all of the other multiple objects. So what we'll do is once again, select everything. Shift select the one that we want to be our controlling block and it will be important that we remember this. So this is in the top left hand corner and then edit preferences and we need to activate an add on called ND, which is just there. So make sure that's activated. And once you've done that, again, all the objects selected that we want to be sharing these attributes and then shift click the one that we want to be the controlling one. I'm going to press shift and two and I'm going to go to utilities and I'm going to go to sync modifiers. Now for this to work, you already have to have copied the modifiers across or made sure they're identical. So you'll notice for all of these objects, we have a bevel and a subdivision surface for all of them. And that's really important, they're all the same. So we have to have done that by copying the modifiers across first, and then Shift and Two, and then Utilities, and then Sync Modifiers. And now all of the other modifiers, you'll notice, have become purple which means they are controlled by a driver. And our controlling block, the one that was selected and active at the time, is now our controlling block. So now I don't have to reselect everything. I can just come to this object and then change the amount on my bevel or change the segments or any other function, and it will do it to all of the other objects that are being controlled by this control block or control object. So that's how we can set up multiple modifiers and control them all at the same time. The final thing that I'll just add is that if we go to edit preferences and type in modifier and we activate this modifier tools, this gives one final feature that's really useful and that is that we get these options at the top here where we can very quickly, instead of having to apply that modifier, then apply that modifier, 
what we can do is just come up here and click apply all and it will apply all of the modifiers in order. And if you've got a modifier stack of maybe five, 10 modifiers all on the go, that is a massive time saving tool. It's also quite nice as you can simultaneously toggle the stack for all of them really quickly, delete all your modifiers really quickly, or just make all of them not visible and then all of them visible again. So it just adds some really nice utility to speed up your workflow. Hopefully you found those tips useful. Let me know if there are any there that you didn't know about already, or if you've got any other tips that you'd like to share about using the modifier panel, please do say. It's always great when people share their expertise with the community. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel, and if you want to get these videos a week ahead of time and ad free, there is a Patreon page where you get exactly that and some other things as well for just a few dollars a month. Have a great day guys.